Hey everybody, welcome. This is Ross with The Verge. It's day three at CES, and I am a grown human adult who's gonna be playing with Legos for the next five minutes. Please excuse me, it's been a very long week already. I'm joined actually uh, by Lego Education. This week, they're unveiling We Do 2.0. It's an educational kit designed for elementary schools uh, and students to learn robotics, engineering, math, science. So with this iteration and new generation of We Do 2.0, we've built in some new technology features. So um, Bluetooth wireless uh, technology that enables it to run freely and you uh, be run using the tablet devices. So what is this? Is this part of the, uh, the curriculum right here? Yeah, so this is um, actually from our series of getting started projects so okay. this build right here would be the first project that we would encourage students and teachers to do um, it's a very simple build and it teaches the basics of how to connect your smart hub to the device that you're using to control it and also how to control your motor and the motor is a really important feature in most of the builds, so it's right. a good place to start um, so this particular project you you learn about science rovers and why scientists use rovers to explore you know far off or dangerous places that they can't go themselves so if you open a project in the library the content is launched and what you see here is what students will actually be working through so initially they're given a challenge they're also asked to watch a video that is a little animation video of our two elementary figures, Max and Mia. They connect them to the problem that they're going to be trying to solve in the challenge. And after they've watched the video, they're then able to follow our step-by-step -step building instructions. And then you're launched into your programming palette. What else uh, do you have in here besides just Lego pieces? Yep, so there's also a tilt sensor. Mm -hmm. So you can build a model that um, changes its behavior based on the angle that the tilt sensor is placed at. And then there's also a motion sensor and that detects if objects are coming forward or away from, from your model. Okay. So a tilt sensor and a motion sensor are the other sensors in addition to the motor and then the smart hub that are included in the kit. Very cool. Um, so this is coming out this, this year, is it coming out now? Is it available? It came out yesterday. Okay, so well, yes, it's 100% available. Sweet, and is it just for classrooms? Are you guys talking to you know, teachers unions and schools? Or are you guys actually selling direct to consumer as well? Yep, so um, the product was developed specifically for use in classrooms. Um, we sell uh, through Lego Education North America direct to schools, but we also have an e-commerce site. Uh, well, Pamela, thank you so much thank for, you. for joining. This is fun, I really, God, I needed this today. So thank you so much for letting me play with Legos. Thank you for having me. Uh, and thank you for watching. Um, if you want more CES, if you want more arts, culture, science, technology, anything The Verge covers, please hit us up at theverge.com. Or, you know, if you like us a lot, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash theverge.